I'm gonna talk about the edentrous model scanning. Maxilla, we're gonna start from tuberosity to the other side of tuberosity scanning first to make arch scanning first. This will provide a stabilized initial foot structure. The second part we're going to scan is the palate scanning. Using the zigzag motion, you scan hard palate of maxilla. Then the last one will be the buccal vestibule of maxilla. So you, in this case, you need to rotate the tip so that you could cover on the cut area of the vestibule easily by rotating the tip. And in actual case, you may do this one with border molding with hand. And once you optimize it, it will form the finer maxillary full mouth scanning. So this particular case, we scan it in the model. The next one is scanning edentrous mandibular model. We're going to start from the left distal lingual side first from the pear shaped pad. Scanning well on the lingual surface, including the lingual vestibule. And then, second part will be the left side, the buccal side. Left buccal vestibule. Then you move on to the center and then continue on with the right side the lingual surface scanning. Covering the pear shaped pad. And of course, the right side buccal vestibule will be the last part when you're scanning edentrous model. So that's how you scan edentrous model. Then we're going to move on how to scan edentrous triindenture. First, the maxilla. It's always a start from tuberosity when you're scanning maxilla. And try in will have a teeth. So scan the teeth from one side to the other tuberosity. Then scanning the palate. Again, the same zigzag motion as you've seen this. So slowly move right and left to cover entire palette. Once you complete the palette, we're gonna scan the buccal side. Always cover from the teeth to move downward. So computer will understand where you are holding your scanner tip. You need to make you always start from the teeth side so that it's easily detected where you're holding. So that's why you see the swipe motion from the occlusal surface or teeth morphology down to the buccal vestibule. Buccal, in this case, buccal flange. And continue on with the same movement. Cover the teeth anatomy which is easily identifiable and go down to the buccal flange buccal area so the this sequence one two three will be similar as edentrous model scanning once you complete that one now we need to scan internal surface when, you, when you're connecting internal surface, start from the buccal side so that let the computer understand where you are holding. And doing that way, you are not making any error 
So as you see here, I start from the buffer side, rotate the tip, go into the vestibule border and the internal. Cover from the teeth, starting from the teeth, rotate it around the border and the internal. Doing this, you are eliminating misfitting of newly scanned picture onto the existing. So scanning from the buffer, rotating it, and initial cover on the internal surface. So when you scan the internal, if you just scan the internal surface, you will have some error mismatching around the border. So to avoid that one, you are starting from the buffer side and then rotating into the internal surface. So I'm continuing doing the same motion. Start from the teeth, go around the border, rotating it to show the internal surface. And all the way to the entire arch. Now, initial internal surface got captured. Then you could connect internal surface using zigzag motion. And making this way, you are avoiding any misfit of scanning. Try in mandibular denture scanning. So lower, we start from distal lingual side, but this time, distal lingual side, make sure you cover the teeth also. So while you're scanning the lingual side, make sure you cover the occlusal surface of the teeth and the left buccal side. So same as edentrous model scanning, lingual left lingual side and second one is left buccal side and again when you scan prime model it's good to start from the teeth so that it let the computer understand where you are holding the scanner then you moving on to the right side lingual side surface by covering entire denture teeth. So occlusal view and the lingual. And move on to all the way to the distal part. And then the last one is right side, buccal side of the dry in will be scanned. Once you complete polished surface, which is buccal lingual and occlusal surface. Now I'm scanning the internal surface by connecting internal starting from the buccal side of the tri indenture. So if you see that I'm pointing the teeth first, rotating to the border, and then get into the internal surface to scan. I continue on by moving the teeth scan first and cover the border and the lingual surface. Start from the teeth, rotating it, cover the border and the scanning internal surface. So this again will preventing possible mismatching by revisiting different surface on the different time. Start from the teeth and that will 
allow the software to understand where we are scanning it and then complete internal surface scanning it. So if you follow this sequence, you could complete Edentrous prime model full scan on the outside and internal surface.